Earlier this week, I did a video showing an easy way to sideload an application into Android's new private space feature using Chrome. And I used the Udemy application as the example. But while researching this topic, I learned that not everyone wants their app hosted online. So today, I can show you how to manually sideload an APK file to your private space with a simple ADB command. That way you can have the app on your computer and not have to upload it somewhere and then use a web browser. Before we can begin to actually install an APK file in this way, we first need to set some things up ahead of time. So you will need to enable developer mode so that we can drop into an ADB shell now, enabling developer mode to access this developer options menu just requires you to tap on the build number entry within the about phone section of the settings app around seven to 10 times. However, if you're not familiar with this process, or maybe you just need a bit of help along the way, then I'll be sure to include a link to a dedicated guide that I've done in the video description below. And I'll have this link in the pinned comment as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Now, with that done, you can then find the newly unveiled developer options menu from within the system section of the settings application. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit until you find the USB debugging mode toggle. This will be disabled by default. So enable it with a simple tap. After that is done, you will also have, need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your desktop or laptop PC. And this is something else that I've already created a guide on. So if you need help with this, then check down below for that link. And finally, the last thing you need to do to set this up is to take the APK file that you want to sideload and either copy or move it into the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. Let's go, go ahead, ahead and, and connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable. And before we can actually sideload the APK file, we first need to learn what the user ID is for your private space feature on Android. You can see this is my platform tools folder where my ADB and Fastboot EXE files are located. And here is the APK file that I'm going to sideload. Now we're going to open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as these files. And I do that by holding the shift button on the keyboard and then right clicking on an empty area of this folder. You should find an open in terminal, open in Windows PowerShell, or even an open in command prompt option here. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it's always a good idea to do the ADB devices command to make sure that you have a successful connection to your device. So we're going to want to make sure that we have our serial number here next to the device word. And if this is the first time you're actually doing this on your computer, you may end up getting a USB debugging mode prompt on your phone since the ADB server is now running on the computer. And again, our phone is connected with a USB cable. If you see that prompt on your phone, be sure to check on the always allow box and then allow this connection. After you have confirmed that you do have a connection from your computer to your device, we're then going to drop into an ADB shell with the command ADB space shell. We're going to press enter and you're going to see our prompt change. As we are no longer executing commands directly on our PC, and instead, we're executing commands from the Android device itself, which is indicated with the codename for our device. Now, 
we're going to type out the command dump sys space user space pipe space grep space user info with the U and the I being capital. And when we press enter on here, you should see at least two users identified here. We have my main user account as des designated with the name Doug and the user ID of zero. And then we have the private space user ID, which is using the user ID of 10 in my instance. Now, whatever number you see here, make note of it because we're going to be using that in our ADB sideload command. So after you have the user ID for your private space, you can then execute the standard ADB install command for sideloading apps. We first need to exit out of this prompt here. So we're going to type out exit and press enter. And then let's type out the command ADB space install space dash dash user space 10 or whatever value you saw from the private space information up here, space, and then the file name for that APK file. Now I typically just begin typing out that file name itself, and then I use the tab button to auto complete the file name for me. And with all of that tap typed out, we're gonna press enter on the keyboard. You should be told that it's performing streamed install and then I get a success message here. So as long as you see something like this and you do not get an error message, then that APK file should be installed to your private space section on Android. With that done, we turn our attention back to our smartphone. We can go ahead and unplug that USB cable if you want, and we're gonna check the private space. So we go all the way down to the bottom of our app drawer, make sure that it is unlocked, and you now see the Afterit application is installed, and it's gonna work like normal. So we're still using the traditional ADB command to manually install APK files on Android. We're just needing to figure out what the user ID is for the private space ahead of time. Now, as usual, let me know if you ran into any issues following this guide. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel as it really helps me out.